Hi everybody, my name is Ian Baker and I'm the Greenhouse Manager out here at Orchard Park and I'm going to give you a run through of the new irrigation system that we are implementing. And I'm Donnelly, I'm a grad student who bothers him a lot. I'll be chiming in with questions and observations. Okay, so just to give you guys an idea of what we are currently working with, this is a, an irritrol panel. This is the system that we currently have in place. Um, and the reason why these need to be replaced is that um, when they reach a certain age, they actually lose their ability to keep track of time. What? <laughs> so when you set when you set a specific length of time, some of these panels will only give you a fraction of that time. Oh dear. Um, a random for, fraction. So for example, <laughs> on some of these panels, I'll set one zone at one minute and it'll only run for 10 seconds. Oops. I don't know if that's the result of uh, some sort of decay in the circuitry or what, but it's obviously unacceptable. The other issue is that this rot rotary dial, um, the contacts get worn in this and in the greenhouses they're mounted in, these panels shake a lot because of the cooling fans <laughs> so this the rotary dial has to be on the the contact to run properly and so when the whole panel is shaking some of these panels will flip on and off Oops. which is completely unacceptable and then the last issue with them is that they're absolutely time intensive to administer in that it takes a uh, proprietary a uh, sequence of keystrokes to program them and you have to go to each panel in each greenhouse in order to make any changes to the system. The solution to that lies in this system called Open Sprinkler. Um, I discovered it because I was starting a project to use Raspberry Pis as data loggers and stumbled across the Open Sprinkler system uh, while doing research on the internet. And so basically this is called Open Sprinkler Pi, and um, what it is is an irrigation control board that actually accepts a Raspberry Pi onto it. So, let's pull it off here. Computers are so tricksy. Oops. They only want to fall apart when you don't want them to fall apart. So this is the Pi, our standalone computer. This is the Open Sprinkler board. And it interfaces with the GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi in order to activate 24-volt um, AC irrigation solenoid valves. Cool. Um, and it works via software, so it's obviously much cooler than the Eritrol system, much more capable of expansion in the future, and much more capable of doing what we need right now. And tell us, Ian, what does it cost? The uh, open sprinkler board is about $75, and all you need to do is plug in a Raspberry Pi on top of that. They're about $40. And what do the Irritol boards cost? The Irritol boards are between four and $600, depending Shh. on the number of stations you need and the capabilities of it. Dang. Ian and Donnelly in the greenhouses. <laughs> There he is. I just want to show you guys really quickly how I am able to retrofit the Eritrol box in order to accept the open sprinkler system. Oh, look how cute it is. So the system runs off the same power supply source as the Eritrol box, 24 volt AC. Awesome. So all I have to do is gut the Eritrol components out of here and keep the transformer. And I can plug that straight into the open sprinkler unit and plug the valve wires straight into it. That's awesome. Bam. So easy. And I love the pirate. All your greenhouses are belong to us. So Ian, how do you make the magic work? <laughs> okay, so this is the user interface uh, for the system. Each open sprinkler system acts as its own web server. So to to access the program for each greenhouse, you just go to the IP. IP address for the specific mm. Raspberry Pi, and then the software is on port 8080. Cool. This is all possible because I've implemented a new wireless network out here. I'm using 
mesh networking equipment, which is really cool because it allows us to expand out on into all the greenhouses, which obviously there are geographic constraints to what we're capable of doing. Cool. So that wireless network is the basis of what allows us to do this. It's exclusively for administration of greenhouse um, functionality. Nice. So uh, it won't get clogged up with so those pesky get, students in their Facebook. It won't get clogged up with anything unnecessary. Nice. And I see you have our benches labeled here. Yeah, so the cool thing about the software is that it's totally customizable. Nice. Um, and the thing that I really like is this visual representation yeah. of the programs that you can see how your program is set up visually. That's it's, awesome. So can you show us the previous day? Ooh. And so you can see the color blocks are solid. This indicates that the program is run. So if we go to tomorrow, they're striped to indicate that it mm -hmm. hasn't run yet. Nice. So it does log that the program has run. One thing that I did have to do in this system is program the master valves into their own program mm. so because we have an RO and a FERT master valve. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. So there's a master program that turns on either the FERT or the RO system, depending on the day of the week. So nice. for yours in particular, we don't get RO until Sunday. Wow. Hungry plants. Yeah, there's a lot of customizability in terms of how the programs run. You can tie soil in. moisture sensor to actually oh, deactivate wow. the system if you're you're getting outside to keep track of rain events. The other cool thing is that there's a plug-in system built into this so that you can easily add in plugins that um, may be available through other software developers that are working with the Open Sprinkler system. So you're saying there's an app for that? There's an app for that. <laughs> and I should also mention that this is an open source system. So we could also write our own code to work so with we, it? So we can write our own code to do things that we need specifically, and there's you know, a robust community of people who are working on this basically all the time. Well, Ian, I think you've given us plenty of time and a great picture of what our greenhouse looks like now. So we're going to say goodbye and thanks for all your help.